Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about uh, categorization of major clustering methods. What are the different types of uh, clustering partitioning methods are there? Uh, we will see all those things here. And uh, those who are going to watch for the first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to do that. Uh, and let's go deep into the topic here. So what are the major clustering methods uh, which can be classified into some uh, few categories? Uh, like uh, see here given database of n objects will be there or uh, data tuples the partitioning method will construct uh, k partitions of the data so if you are having n number of object i will select the k value here so based upon my k value that many number of partitions can be done where each and every partition will represent the cluster where always your k value should be less than or equal to n value and uh, it will classifies the data into k number of groups. So you suppose if my k value is equal to 1 means I will get 1 cluster. If my k value is equal to 2 means I will get 2 clusters. But uh, always your k value it should be less than or equal to n. And uh, what are the two requirements that which we are having means here. Uh, each group must contain at least one object. Each group must contain at least one object. Each and every group of cluster at least one object should be there and each object must belong to exactly one group. Each and every object at least they should belong to one group here. So these are the two conditions or uh, constraints that which we are having uh, while doing the clustering process. And uh, uh, given k value here the number of partitions to construct uh, a partitioning method will create the initial partitioning. So, it is going to use the iterative relocation technique that attempts to improve the partitioning by moving the objects from one group to the another. So, if any objects, uh, if uh, sometimes what will happen, few objects will be there, they will be moving based upon the distance from one cluster to the other cluster. Moving of these objects from one cluster to the other cluster is called as iterative relocation technique. So, the general criteria of good partitioning is that objects in the same cluster, they should have the maximum similarities or they should be closely related to each other based upon the clustering. How we will categorize objects in the same cluster, they should have the similarities and they should be close to each other. Whereas, the objects in the different clusters, they should be far away or they should be, they should lie so far away or they should be different uh, from the other clusters here. So this is the good partitioning uh, technique that which we are going to use while doing the clustering process here. Next, uh, uh, here uh, two types of algorithms are there uh, which are very very important from the examination point of view also. If you need uh, uh, during the if any exams are coming means uh, uh, if you are going to give me in the comment section means I can upload the few videos related to those topics also which are very very important. So maximum I have uploaded the important uh, questions videos uh, I think. So if any few important questions are there I will try to upload maximum for this data mining subject. So uh, what are the few algorithms we are having means that is the k-means algorithm is there where each cluster is represented by the mean value of the objects in the cluster. So already I have uploaded my k-means algorithm how the clustering process can be done with the help of example in the previous videos. Huh? You can check from that links there. I have given you all the links all the links of my previous videos in the description box. You can check it out from there. And the k-medoids algorithm where each and every cluster is represented by one of the objects located huh? near the center of the clusters. So here clustering can be done based upon the representative objects in the k medoids algorithm whereas in the k means the clustering can be done based upon the mean value of the objects in the cluster. Next uh, hierarchical methods. What is this hierarchical methods here? So hierarchical method this is one type of technique where uh, the clustering can be done based upon the two approaches that is called as the agglomerative or the divisive based approach. And uh, what is this agglomerative approach? Agglomerative approach, it is also called as the bottom-up approach which will start with each and every object forming the separate group here. And uh, uh, it will start from the bottom-up approach now. So, it will start merging the objects uh, which are close to one another until all the groups are merged into the one singleton cluster. Next one is the divisive approach. Divisive approach means this is also called as the 
top down approach top down approach means in the top most we are having only one cluster will be there i will divide that one cluster into the several clusters until i will get one singleton objects at the bottom of my cluster here so it will starts with all the objects in the same cluster so in each and every successive iteration the clusters can be split into the small clusters until eventually each object is in one cluster or until a termination condition holds so what are the hierarchical method in the hierarchical clustering we are having the uh, different methods are there for doing the clustering process one is the bridge algorithm and the another one is the chameleon algorithm next one is the density based method what is this density based method more to, most of the partitioning methods and clustering objects can be done based upon the distance between the objects but there are few methods if we are having any shapes like any spherical shaped clusters are there or any arbitrary shaped uh, things are there means uh, we will get some problems so for such a type of different shaped clusters also we can do the very good clustering using the density based methods but here uh, what are the methods that which we are having under the density based methods means uh, db scan and the denglu algorithm two are there in the density based methods then next one is the grid based methods what is meant by grid based methods means uh, grid based methods uh, it will divide your entire object space into the finite number of cells uh, which will forms like a grid structure grid means will have some sort of rows and columns will be there for the grid methods so all the clustering operations are performed on a grid structure so the main advantage of this approach is it's a fast processing time will be there so typical methods are what we are going to use in the grid based methods means we are having the sting sting is one approach like a statistical information grid approach where it is an example of the grid based method and wave cluster is the another approach for the grid based method and the click is one more algorithm next one is the model based methods what is this model based methods means again now here the clustering can be done for each and every uh, data given up um, with the help of a few methods here one is the em that is the em stands for the expectation maximization analysis which can be used for the uh, this one na? for the clustering process and cobweb this is the another model for the clustering som self organizing feature maps uh, where it is a neural network based algorithm and how the clusters uh, can be done is by mapping the higher dimensional data into the 2d or the 3d feature maps uh, which can be used for the data visualization process also and how the clustering uh, high dimensional data can be done means uh, here uh, we are having the few applications are there where it will contains the number of features or the dimensions all these uh, applications uh, will come under the model based methods only and few algorithms are there like click and proclus is there and uh, frequent pattern based clustering is there and uh, it uses such patterns to group the objects and generate the meaningful clusters also and p cluster this is one of the example again for the uh, frequent pattern based clustering based upon the pattern similarities and last one is the constraint based clustering uh, this con constraint based clustering is completely constraints means nothing but the uh, user level conditions conditions that are going to be uh, given by the users here basically so based upon the user conditions only we will give the we will do the clustering process so how the conditions can be given by the user here suppose if i want only the top 10 customers for my um, for my groceries uh, those who are going to purchase only the mobile phones in my uh, store so i want that is my condition or that is my user criteria here so based upon these constraints only i will fetch from the entire store i will fetch for the mobiles based upon the region who are going to purchase what type of customers are going to purchase more uh, how much amount of sales will be there for the mobile phones so like that uh, we can specify the constraints based upon the user or based upon the application requirements also we can specify the constraints so this is called as the constraint based clustering here so this is the entire flowchart of your uh, clustering process so here partitioning can be done here one is the k means and the other one is the k medoids or pam algorithm and uh, one more one is the clara and clarence is there uh, 
where we can use it for the large applications for doing the clustering process and in the hierarchical clustering we are having the cure which diana and agnes all these are the clustering applications for the hierarchical and for the density based we are having three more algorithms are there like db scan is the most popular one optics algorithm and the dentlu algorithm three different algorithms are there based upon the density based and the next one last one is the grid based in the grid based we are having the three different approaches are there one is a string approach wave cluster and the click so this is the entire partitioning of your application entire partitioning of your given data sets these are the different partitioning methods that which we are having so i think you understood the entire topic so if any queries are there you can give me all those queries in the comment section and thank you guys thank you for watching this video thank you